All right, we have another race. <laughs> yeah. As usual, this is Powell. Uh, we're gonna have a race between Hyundai Kona and Tesla Model X. Who is the best, Kona or the X? <laughs> oh, it's a Norwegian joke. So, um, as you guys expected, I will be driving Kona and then Powell will be driving the X, which is Optimus Prime. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's an honor. Yeah, oh, yeah. yes. I shaved, you know, I dressed up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, the rule is that uh, the Tesla will be allowed to charge on the supercharger. We will maximum drive uh, 10 kilometers per. Uh, wait, wait, 10 percent over the speed limit just to yeah. go with the traffic flow. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what else? Um, all of the nights, no rule. Yeah. yeah. And then I will be restricted to only the 50 kilowatt fast chargers on uh, Kona. But the Kona is more efficient. Much more. Uh, <laughs> yes. So uh, I think that's it. We we are live streaming. We will also shoot a video during the trip. So, uh, yes, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, I guess off we go then. Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Good luck to you. Good luck. So, the first <laughs> first uh, guy to be back here. <laughs> yeah. We go, by the way, we're going to throne him and back again. Yeah. I'll yeah. try to not go empty on juice this time. Oh, yeah. yeah. You yeah. might have to tow yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Off we go then. Yeah. All right, we are almost good to go. Pavel is recording something, I guess. Uh, my attempt now is to drive 400 kilometers from here all the way to Balkok. Uh, the GOM says I have 438 kilometers of range, so I will make it. Uh, I think the, the, someone who's been driving before me drove pretty hard, so the GOM should be more closer to 500 kilometers. Yeah, and uh, we will only have more away the first 100 kilometers, then for the next 300 kilometers, it will be like you know slower speeds yeah so um, I think we are ready now we have glimpse running here we have live stream here I have a head-up display I have Alcas uh, climate control will be on uh, we will not sweat in here I, I can also use uh, ventilated seats here if I need to wireless charging oh yes yeah, good shit good shit Hi guys, this is the race between uh, the Optimus Prime and the new Hyundai Kona. Uh, so we are just getting uh, uh, started here. We just topped up uh, the both cars to nearly 100%. And um, yeah, my range is at 378 right now. Um, I'll be only using the supercharger network while uh, Bjorn will use all the uh, fast chargers on his route um, yeah the rules are, uh, are as always uh, no rules except uh, of speed uh, we'll be driving around 10% above the speed limit um, yeah so we just uh, we just finished set up the cars right here I have my phone with glimpse, I have my iPad, which I'm live streaming on, and my Wi-Fi router, and yeah, we are good to go. Okay, we just left um, fast charger at Furuset, just wanted to show you this nice car in front of me, yeah, which we will try to beat. Uh, 373 kilometers range and yeah all right we have been driving for a couple of minutes actually how many minutes so far uh, only seven minutes uh, consumption has dropped to 152 which is pretty nice now we're just I was driving first and then Powell overtook me so it doesn't matter too much here yeah the battle has just begun so I have head of display here, that's nice, man, I love this car. I know what, I found something. Uh, if you use this one, this handle, if you press and hold it, it will activate really strong region at low speed. So uh, I'm gonna use that. Oh, 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 speed limit is up. Now we are at 100 kilometers per hour, so I can increase the speed to, uh, uh, I think about 115, that should be it maybe I have to find the speed 10% over so 10 hundred kilometers per hour that means 110 can drive now so we are still following beer uh, my state of charge is 89% or 322 kilometers and uh, my margin 
margin went up a little, up to 19% to Aldal. So, yeah, I think I will be uh, going for Aldal supercharger. Yeah, that will be my first charging stop. While uh, Bjorn is continuing to Bariko. We are passing by Espa. I have 81% stay on charge. Consumption is only 159. That is amazingly low. Uh, I was expecting 190, but that was of course without traffic. But so I have 81%. And uh, last report from uh, Powell is that he has 75%, and he averaged 210. Wow. But 210 is actually pretty low. Um, but. Uh, his state of charge drops faster than mine. <laughs> oh shit! This car is so efficient. Holy crap. Is it? The cool bridge? Now we are leaving E6 and most of the traffic, I hope. And oh man, this car does not handle bumps very well. It's a heavy car. 1,800 kilos, so it's heavier than the, the gasoline corner. So it kind of bounces now I mentioned it before you know when it goes over bumps it kind of bounces boing, 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 which is not the best Ugh, comfort I wish the suspension was firmer oh we have a nation we have been driving for one and a half hours we are in Østerdal right north of um, Elverum and I have 68 percent and Pavel is at okay Pavel is at 61 percent so I have more state of charge than him <laughs> he has a bigger battery, uh, but I consume so little energy that um, his state of charge drops faster than mine. So he's at 204 watt hour per kilometer. I'm at 146, and this is a grand total for the whole trip. Uh, I estimated when I calculated the route and everything, I estimated that I would average like 170 by the time I got here. So I'm actually way lower than that, and uh, that could be because we have tailwind. Uh, so of course uh, on the way back we might not be that lucky we don't know but uh, his consumption is also slightly lower than expected uh, but mine is lower than the calculation and you see here I reset the speed while I was driving recently so <laughs> 120 yeah that's uh, close to what I expected I expected 130 so a very efficient car <laughs> just hammer me what you're crazy <laughs> he's going for it <laughs> oh well yeah but anyway look here we have done 190 kilometers consumption is 141 it's about 20 lower than I expected I'm still at 60% state of charge uh, I wonder if I can drive all the way to uh, to Trondheim in a single charge. That would be pretty cool to do. Uh, but then, uh, don't want to. Shell Moholt. Hmm. We could charge up at Shell Moholt. Oh, something happened here. Okay, restart up. Glimpse. But uh, yeah, I don't know. it seems like um, Pavel didn't want to stay behind me, so he wanted to go for in front. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Doesn't matter too much who is in front. So um, look here. So this is the, this is the grand total so far, 141 since the start, and then oh, keep bugging me. There, 121. <laughs> I was expecting 130. Wow, wow, it's nice, nice weather. Uh, 29 degrees Celsius outside. It will be somewhat colder in Trondheim, around 17 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Okay, we are exactly 100 kilometers from uh, Aldal Supercharger. Uh, we've got 177 kilometers left of range. That's about 47% set of charge. Uh, we are still live streaming, and uh, Bjorn's Kuna is uh, just uh, behind us. We have a margin of 21% so that should be enough 
plenty enough for uh, some hammering and yeah, relaxed driving. We are now in uh, Stor Arudal, um, we just passed uh, the shiny moose and I have driven 240 kilometers, averaging uh, 140 so far. Um, and I have 50% state of charge left, so um, I mean, based on this, I could probably drive 500 kilometers because we did motorway in the beginning. So based on consumption and whatever so far, it seems like I can drive all the way to Trondheim. But we had some massive tailwind in the beginning, and uh, it will turn into a headwind around Alvdal, and then we get pretty strong headwind. So. Um, we have to I have to see uh, it's still still too early and Pavel is way over there somewhere I don't know why uh, he uh, he increases speed a little bit a little bit over uh, what we agreed but uh, it doesn't matter too much yeah so uh, I would just let him go there whatever maybe he needs to pee <laughs> he's going for Arvdal I think he is so I'm at I'm at 50% and he is at some 35% or maybe less than that actually maybe 32 so um, I have a huge gain now in state of charge. So that is unexpected. Like I didn't expect to drive this far. I expected I could go to uh, to Baikok, you know, 400 kilometers. And now I can go 500 kilometers. But the risk of going all the way to to uh, Trondheim is that there is a charger there. There's a location with three chargers. And last time I went there, one of them was broken. So. Um, I could ask one of my friends at um, Fortnum. Oh, we have a donation coming in. Someone donated $10. Oh, thank you very much. Elina donated $10. Wow, generous of you. So uh, the stretch here now is going to be uh, like fast-ish speed for Norway. 80 kilometers per hour uh, for a long, long time. Yeah. So I will pass Pavel in about half an hour when he has to stop at Arvdal because, you know, he must charge at supercharger. I mean, he, he, he can charge on Chanamo, yes, but um, that is a disadvantage for him. So he has to charge on Chanamo. As for me, I can only charge on uh, 50 kilowatt. No, sorry, what did I say? He has to charge on supercharger, sorry. Yeah. So his choice is only here, Arvdal or Valkog, but Valkog is probably too far away yeah according to my calculations what I've seen so far he cannot make it to, to Baltico so he has to charge in Arvdal whereas I can go all the way to, to Trondheim maybe the juice up and <laughs> I might win <laughs> we are arriving to Aldal uh, we will be there in three kilometers at Aldal supercharger we have a 17% uh, range, that's 65 kilometers. And uh, yeah, Bjorn is just uh, behind me, heading for uh, Barkok, where he will charge for the first time. 2.1 kilometers to the supercharger, and the margin is at 17%. So that's nice. Uh, we are now in Alvdal. Um, Powell here has about uh, 70 kilometers left. Uh, that's like, I guess, six, 17 percent. So he has to turn here. <laughs> he has to turn here to charge. He has, <laughs> he has 70 percent left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, about 17%. Look here, I have 38% left. What the hell? How, how is it possible? This car is so efficient. So I have, at this checkpoint, I have 20% more state of charge than him. <laughs> so he has to charge it for about, um, according to my calculation, uh, 20 minutes. Yeah. And then, okay, so you see, well, let's, let's look at the map in a bigger scale here. Oh, map, there, okay. Can I zoom in like this? So, I'm going for Baikok. Now, for Pavel, uh, he has to charge here because he, he doesn't have enough juice to go uh, further. But 
he shouldn't charge in Klet because Klet could be overrun by locals. So um, he has to charge here and then drive 100 kilometers and charge at um, Baikok also. And then he has to drive to Trondheim and then back to Baikok. Uh, and then the rest, uh, I'm not sure. So he, yeah, he's also somewhat limited, just like me. I'm also a bit limited to where I should charge for the best charging speed. And, I mean, not the best, like, the best, the, the shortest detour from the main road. So uh, we've been stuck behind traffic for a bit, but uh, I will try to get past them around here. All right, we just arrived in Alvdal. This is our first charging stop. I'm charging at 86 kilowatts right now. That's caused a pretty low state of charge. I arrived here with 17%. So, uh, yeah, we will pick up charging speed uh, in a little while. You know, when we arrived in uh, Alvdal, I almost panicked a little bit, you know. Look at all the cars charging here. Yeah, and on the other side as well. And these guys know what they're doing. They are parking with one uh, with one spot from each other, you know, to get the full speed. But luckily, I I got this spot, which I don't need to share with anyone. So we are soon receiving a full charging speed. Okay, still in Aldal, just a short toilet break now and something to eat. We are still live streaming. 128 people watching. That's awesome. It's cool. Uh, we are receiving 87 kilowatts right now. That's uh, that's not bad. 88 actually. Let's hope we get a little bit higher than that. We are somewhere in Österdarm, blah, 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 getting close to Kvikne, and I have driven 340 kilometers so far, almost four hours. And um, Pavel is on the move, he just unplugged. So, <laughs> and you know what? I have 26% left, and um, damn, those superchargers are fast. Let me show you here. So, when he arrived, he had 17%, uh, right? I, I forgot I can check his app. I mean, it's my car, so I can check the app. Uh, so 67% now, right now. Uh, so he charged from. Oh, we have donation again. Uh, so he charged from uh, about 17% to 67% in very short time. It probably took him like uh, 20 minutes only. Uh, so, um, ooh, I mean. I had an edge, but uh, he might be eating up my lead now. So, uh, okay, 26%. Hmm. When will I stop? Okay, I don't know yet. Probably Baikok, right? Right, we are now juicing up in Baikok. So, Havel, he's in that direction. He's coming here in about 20 minutes, maybe. I think he's about 20, 25. Actually, according to Google, he's about 25. To 30 minutes away and I just started charging now unfortunately this these are the Wi-Fi charger I call them the Wi-Fi charger <laughs> Kona Wi-Fi <laughs> uh, they call it the V-Fill uh, tritium chargers and uh, I had some problems with them during uh, the test and also other people with Ionic has reported similar problems so I had to watch out in case it fails or something but at least when I use Ionic on the trip here it didn't fail but um, yeah, so this this info here is like cumbersome to calculate based on, but it's much better with Kona because you see, well actually let's let's take a tour around. You you've barely seen the car during the trip because I've been busy driving all the trip. Uh, this is the I guess the teal color, right? It's like the light blue uh, color. Here's the charge plug. It blinks that it is charging. I didn't catch too many bugs here today. Um, it has some cameras there for the adaptive cruise control and the auto steer. Uh, Head-up display is visible right now because we are, uh, yeah, I've, I've started the car. So, um, here you can see, 
it's a fairly small car compared to uh, like um, Leaf. Leaf is much larger. This is just was in 416 centimeters, if I remember correctly. Same as Golf, whereas Leaf is four and a half meters long. Ionic is also about that size. So a uh, fairly small car. Uh, is it this, this? I wonder if this is different from from the other. Nah, I have type two cable here, but most likely I won't need it. So let's see. Let me double check here. So there's yeah, there is really no power outlet here. That was that's unfortunate. There's a speaker, the subwoofer. You have to close the door kind of hard. It tends to be like stuck and not really closed. Here yeah, the back seats. Yes, you've seen it before. But let's show the front. What matters now is oh, the charging speed. Okay, so it charges right now at. 44 kilowatt. I was at, I came here with 5%. So, um, I mean, it feels a bit slow, but that's because this battery is fairly big. Uh, I think 44 kilowatt uh, at 20%. Yeah, it's it's good. So, um, uh, this charger is uh, is fast enough. Yeah. Uh, if it was slow, then I would see it here. So, um, it would be faster and faster now up until 74%. Um, that's when it reaches its peak. So I should leave at 74%. And I also calculated beforehand that at 74% I should be able to drive 300 to 350 kilometers. So uh, my plan now is to go to Shell Moholt. Uh, how the heck do I do that? Nav. Let's go to Nav. Uh, point of... Uh, uh, address? Coordinates? Hmm... I want to go to... how do I choose? I want to go... I want to find... Um, what point of interest? Uh, charging station. Mm, near current position? No. Near city center? Yeah, name. Maybe name. Shell. Moholt. Lots of shell. Shell Express, Shell 11, Nes. What? What? For, huh? Mo Marken, no. Moholt. Shit, let me, let me do use Google. Alright, so in order to type in the address, how to go here, alright, and then choose city, Trondheim. Tr Trondheim, Trondheim. Okay, and then street name. I had to look here on Google. Vega Mot, number two, okay. Vega Mot. Number two. Uh huh. Okay. Number two. All right. There. Uh, set the designation. Start guidance. Oh yes. So eighty-two kilometers from Shell. And let's see where is Pavel. Oh, he's already there. Oh shit. He's like. Uh, 15 minutes away from me, maybe. Okay, I'm at 24%, but I have about half an hour more here, so I should use my time well. So I'm gonna go to the restroom, uh, get some food, have to food up, because the next stop will be also several hours away. So, unfortunately, in Norway, we cannot drive too fast, so, you know, 300 kilometers, that would be like, at least, like, almost four hours yeah because we have to also count in some city driving uh, so you know next stop will be in four hours somewhere in Österdal I don't know where when um, so I better eat and drink and do whatever I have to do now uh, but I have to avoid drinking too much because then I have to pee and then extra stops or whatever so uh, but you know what? I should try to clean the windscreen also hmm yeah let's do that This is exciting. We are getting close to Barikot. Uh, Bjorn is still charging, so uh, I hope I can uh, meet him there. 
Yeah, we will be there in about 15, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, my state of charge is uh, 39%. Left. All right, because we are in a race, I don't have time to wait for any burger because the burgers can take very long time. So, I had to go for crap food. Ugh. Um, I would, I mean, if I had time, I would eat like sushi or something, you know, or meatballs, chutkaki bunsos. So, now we have to go for a bacon burger. Mm, at least I have uh, grove bro, uh, like. Mm, I don't know, but uh, and coke, yeah. And we are at 42%, and I think Powell is getting close. I'm not sure where he is, we can check it out, but uh, he should be here in any minute now. Uh, and then there's some uh, some Polish guys there, they just happened to uh, meet me here, so yeah. I think they're gonna check out the car. This is the first time they see Kona, they have ordered Kona. Lots of people have ordered Kona. Mm. Mm. Good sausage. Papa is catching up, but um, I'm judging. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. We're gonna visit Pavel at the supercharger. This might be the first and last time I meet him. <laughs> Pavel! <laughs> Did you mess up? Did you mess up uh, parking at the supercharger? <laughs> no, no. I figured it out. <laughs> yeah, finally. I was driving around like, uh, yeah. Drunk man, but yeah. But here is power setup. He's he's doing it like a pro. He has <laughs> <laughs> barely legal, but at least he plays it low. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, 38%. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, and pretty low uh, charging speed, man. 90 kilowatts. Why? <laughs> well, why? I want 97 or 120. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now I need to calculate how yeah. much I'm gonna stay here yeah. uh, or how long. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to the uh, Ioni. Yeah, see you. Uh, Kona. Kona. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See you, bye. Right. Um, he needs to calculate. I also need to calculate. I have to go back to uh, Kona. Because I have to leave the key inside. So, we just arrived at uh, Barkok uh, Supercharger. Bjorn is still here. He was actually just here and filming me. Uh, I met some Polish guys as well. That's cool. They were following the live stream. And uh, yeah. So we arrived here with 36% state of charge. We are finally receiving a little bit more than uh, 90 kilowatt uh, speed. Yeah, 91, 92. And uh, yeah. So. Uh, let's see here. We have now 162 kilometers of range, and we will have to go uh, 83 kilometers to the rendezvous point. So double that. That's just under 170 kilometers, 166 plus some uh, reserve. So yeah, we will have to stay here for a little while. And we will see um, when this charging speed drops. If I will charge it, so I go all the way to Alvdal again, or we'll just turn and go back here. Yeah, that's the question. This is exciting stuff. So, okay, quick round to the toilet, and I'll be. <laughs> so, what's the state of, state of charge? 58%. 58. Hmm, okay, 58. okay, okay. Let's check, check Optimus then. Yeah, let's check, let's check. Okay, 58. Okay. And then Optimus, well, you have to charge about 260, 70 kilometers. Yeah, 94. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that's good, that's good. Mm, lots of juice. Yeah, 94. so you should leave when you have, I don't know, when you drop below 90 kilowatts. Ah, okay. Which is in like 
15 minutes. I, yeah. I will also leave in 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So th this is this is gonna be close. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! <sighs> this is nerve wracking, you know. This is this is Ampera all over again, you know. Yeah, yeah. Let me hold this for you. Uh, you know, except that this time uh, nobody can tow me, you know, because oh. I have the towing <laughs> yes. uh, equipment. So. You better not run out. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> if I run out, then you have to save me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so okay. Oh, this is this is all summer. <laughs> why you? Why you see? I already yeah. changed. I have. Yeah. Uh, this is Trondheim, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. all right. Okay. Um, I will prepare for departure soon. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so you know what? I just met those two guys in an Ionic. They drove all the way from Bergen. Is it? Yes. Yes. Just to meet uh, Bjorn and uh, me in Optimus Prime and uh, Kona. So uh, you have the Golf EV, I have Golf. and uh, you have the uh, Ionic. Ionic, and he had Reserved and uh, Kona as well. So uh, wow, this is this is really cool. Uh, 1,100 kilometers. kilometers. Yeah, in an Ionic. That's great. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, that was super lucky. The charger stopped at 65% after 45 minutes. And I just came back, so I might, might have lost a minute or so. Uh, so I had to restart the charging session. Um, oh, hang on. But we are at 67%. See, maximum speed now, 48 kilowatt. Oh, yes. Which is maximum speed for me. Uh, power is getting uh, 90 plus kilowatt. Uh, so at exactly 74.5%, it will drop. So I'm going to prepare for a departure. And I did some quick math. I should be able to drive 320 kilometers, drive it down to 7%, but I don't have to drive that far because um, the strategy now, oh hang on, oops, oops, there, um, the plan, zoom out a bit, zoom out some more, okay, the plan is to drive to Trondheim, turn back here, Powell has to stop here, so even if he leaves before me, I will pass him again on the return. He has to stop here. It's too far for him to go there and then over here. Um, so when he leaves, he will be able to drive about 200-ish kilometers, whereas I can drive 300-ish kilometers. So we will both go there, back again, be close to each other. Then he will stop here, but I will go here and go all the way to uh, Arvdal and charge there. That's my plan. Well, this is it. Uh, ooh, I wonder if power left already. We've been here uh, uh, 52 minutes. Almost there. Oh, it's dropped. It dropped. Oh, let's go. Let's go. 73. Oh. All right. I'm still at the uh, Badcock Supercharger. Um, thinking what to do, you know. We are re re receiving a pretty low uh, speed. 56, 55 kilowatts. We are at 291 in range. And if we want to travel all the way to the rendezvous point and back to Alvdal, uh, we need to drive around 260 kilometers. So that's like 30 kilometers in uh, in margin. That's a little bit low, but uh, yeah, uh, we will see. We will see. When we get closer to back to Barkok, I will have a possibility to estimate it uh, a little bit. Uh, better yeah right now I'm following on my phone if uh, Bjorn uh, is still here you know <laughs> so when Bjorn lives I will live that's the plan we just left Badkok heading for uh, Trondheim about 90 kilometers from here and uh, you know, Pavel also just left now, <laughs> so he's right behind me. This is getting exciting because uh, we'll be neck on neck, but then I'm gonna pass him again. <laughs> but then he might pass me towards the end. Oh, shit. Okay, I just found one disadvantage with the corner. Uh, the wipers are very noisy. Uh, people on live stream are also complaining about it. And they're complaining about autofocus, but yeah, they're complaining about the wipers. They are noisy. So if I squirt some fluid, it will temporarily disappear. And then it comes back again. Huh. 
but uh, you know over here we have 16 degrees Celsius and when I look at this energy uh, screen here you see that we have a little bit for propulsion uh, very little on the climate electronics that's probably light and stuff and battery care is using 36 kilowatt, point 36 kilowatts so first I was thinking oh uh, battery heater but no I checked the setting battery heater switch off uh, so this one must be uh, active cooling I think the fans are running to cool down the battery after that fast charge that must be the only explanation I have we are now in Trondheim it has taken about uh, let's see almost seven hours yeah so we have some charging on the way well that's a Model X with a bicycle by the way um, and uh, Pavel he's right behind me the glimpse you can see that he's right behind me oh, oh. and um, I think none of us will stop at Shell Mohol but the plan is just the, one, the rule is that we have to stop there go oh, on we have to stop there just to turn around uh, at the gas station well, here it is, Shelmo Holt, the, the, the end point. Oh yes, yeah, so now I'm gonna drive right past it and then get out of here again. And Powell is there. <laughs> Powell, <laughs> Powell is right there. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> shit, we meet again. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> What's up? Yes, wow, well, let's, let's, I'm leaving now. <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs> okay, he, ah, oh, he knew about the shortcut. Ah, no advantage for me there. All right, so let's get the heck out of here. All right, we are half the way. We just turned around at the rendezvous point in uh, Moholt, at Shell, and, uh, this leaves me with 218 kilometers range and uh, we have to go 188 to Aldal. That gives us only 3% margin. That's not enough. So we will see, but I'm pretty sure we will have to charge again at uh, Barkok to get uh, to Aldal. Bjorn is just in front of me. <laughs> I met him uh, at the rendezvous point, so we are, uh, yeah, we use just the same time. Oh, you know what? Um, we are now heading back. Uh, Pavel is right behind me there. <laughs> oh, should I say Optimus Prime? And I have 61% left, and uh, the GOM says 286 kilometers. I can go to uh, I'm not sure, uh, probably um, a harness dot, whereas Powell, he has 210 kilometers left, and I did some quick math, and uh, he can make it to Alvdal. Oh, there. There. He doesn't have to stop, uh -huh. Okay, okay. But he doesn't have to stop in, uh, in Baikok, he can go straight for Alvdal, save a little bit of time. Or he can even stop in, in uh, Alvdal. I mean, sorry, he can stop in Balkok to get the good charging speed uh, if he's um, uh, if he has discipline to stop there for only like 15 minutes. We are now in uh, Balkok. Uh, I have 43 percent, and Powell has. Uh, uh, 32% so I have uh, an 11% lead on him and he's supposed to well I, I heard from the live stream that uh, he will stop here it's probably the best deal for him to stop here uh, even though I think he could have made it to uh, to uh, our dollar but yeah I'm not sure what he's gonna do will stop there or not it seems like he's stopping yeah he's stopping yeah all right so I'll keep going he will stop here uh, and the battle is on okay we just stopped up in uh, Barikok we are ready to go 197 
kilometers of range, we are going to Alvdal Supercharger and uh, then we will have to stop at uh, um, Nebenas as well. So this could be interesting. Right now I have a margin of 21% if I stop at Aldo. 23, sorry. 23%. Just recalculate it. We are now in uh, Kvikne. No, wait. Oh, this is a bit past Kvikne, yeah. Uh, Pavel, he is getting close to Kvikne. It seems like Pavel is about 15-20 um, minutes behind me. Uh, but he unplugged a little bit early, so he's heading for uh, Arudar. Uh, I was planning on going to Arudar, but um, you know what? I have enough juice to go to um, uh, what's the next one again? Hanestad. So I should go to Hanestad instead, and that will be my last charging double. It will take 50 minutes, so uh, most likely uh, power will pass me when I'm charging there. Uh, let me calculate. No, wait, will he? I think so, or I'm not sure. Hmm. But anyway, the consumption so far on the trip is 138 watt hour per kilometer, uh, which is lower than I uh, calculated, but pretty close. I calculated 140 average. So uh, we are better than uh, the expected uh, consumption, so I could have a chance of beating him. It's still a bit early. How far have we driven so far? 600 kilometers, yeah. Almost 400 miles. And we have about 300 uh, something left, so about 200 more miles to go. And it's uh, almost 8 in the, in the evening now. We are now in Alvdal. I still have 88 kilometers of range according to GOM. Uh, and uh, I'm only 40 kilometers away from uh, Hanestan, so I would not charge here. Um, over there is the supercharger. And uh, Pavel is about 13, 14 minutes behind me. Uh, so he will charge there because he's running, well, kind of low on juice. I think he has about uh, 90. Well, we can find out. Just check here. Go on the app. Okay, he has 100 kilometers of range left. Yeah, so he needs to charge up here because the next supercharger is, uh, is 165 kilometers away. So he will need to charge it for at least 20 minutes. Uh, I'm not sure how I many. He should charge for yeah, 20, 25 minutes before he leaves. And then over here we have Shell and the Fortum charger, which is actually blocked by a fossil with a boat. Shit! Well, good thing I don't have to uh, deal with him right now. So uh, I'm going for uh, Honestad. Oh, yes. So, we just arrived at Alvdal Supercharger and uh, we arrived around here with 22% uh, uh, on set of charge, that equals 84 kilometers. And uh, we are receiving, yeah, we just started to charge, so I hope for a bit higher charging speed on that. We're gonna stay here for about 20-25 minutes. We are now at uh, Hanestad. Ooh, I'm getting 43 kilowatt. Oh, not the best, but you know what? I arrived with 13%. This will be my last charging stop. <laughs> Only two charging stops. Uh, Pavel, he will have like four or five charging stops. I don't remember how many. Wait, let me see. It was Arvdal. Uh, he's still charging. Uh, he stopped at Arvdal for the first time and then... Uh, two times at um, Baikok and then one more time at Ardon, that means four and then five times at... He has to stop five times, I only stopped two times. <laughs> but he's getting pretty good speed, 93 kilowatt. He could leave now, but uh, my recommendation for him is to stay and ride on this 93 kilowatt wave. Uh, he should be, I mean, he should stay until 250, 260 kilometers before he leaves. 
if he leaves now, then that's a mistake. Whereas I'm getting, uh, ooh, come on, how much is it? 43 kilowatt. Oh, I'm the, I'm the underdog here. Oh, but you know what? Let's go outside. Oh, nice weather over here. You see, this is, uh, we have the sunset. We have, we have the fossil idling. Um, I'm the only one charging here. And I, I chose ABB charger because ABB seems to be more stable on Hyundai's than the, 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 the Wi-Fi charger. Yeah, uh, the Wi-Fi charger does not go well with Kona. Kona. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, but um, I have to go to the restroom and uh, go to the restaurant before they close. Are they close? Uh, but yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's see. And how is the live stream going? Let's check it out one more time. Ooh, ooh. Okay, try. No, what the? Try to open my phone there. He's still charging. Oh, okay. So we just left uh, Aldal Supercharger on the way to Oslo. Um, we charged until the speed dropped to about 250 kilometers. And um, yeah, uh, we are going to Elverum and we will arrive there with about 24% of a margin. And then I will top up and go all the way to Furuset, I guess. Still live streaming over here. Um, you know what, I was having a sandwich. I look over here, suddenly the charging speed dropped. I don't know what is going on. If it, is it the charger or is it uh, the car? 35 kilowatt is not good. I'm gonna lose the battle if I keep this speed. So I have to unplug and try the other charger. See if that helps. Okay, I have to move. I had to move the car. So I lost at least a minute uh, to reach that charger. Now I'm placed right between these two. Uh, let me see what speed do we get? Oh, 37, 30, oh, 40, oh. Okay, we're back to 45 kilowatt. Oh, I, I don't know how much time I lost there. Uh, I'm not sure what was the problem here. It could be that ABB charger, because from time to time, the charger will bug. I'm not sure, but right now we're getting 45 kilowatt from that charger, which is the unreliable Wi-Fi charger. Um, so, um, or the tritium charger, yeah. Uh, but now we're getting 45 kilowatt again. <sighs> I have to monitor this thing <laughs> yeah I was keeping an eye on this uh, I wonder if this happened during my charging session I'm not sure hmm so um yeah it could be the charger overheating some people mentioned that but there is a fan going on that one uh, you can probably hear it it could be that it wasn't enough that um, you see there's a fan going here running here but normally these chargers are reliable and they can output uh, lots of power over time like I've done with the, uh, um, with the Tesla. So I'm not sure what happened but I have to pay very close attention to the power output here uh, to, uh, not if, I mean, to notice if it drops again and then might have to move charger. This is a bit cumbersome and we don't know yet if it's the car or the charger. Oh, this is gonna be very close. I'm charged to 50% at 46 kilowatt, and Powell is getting close. He's like a minute away. I need 15 more minutes of charging, uh, and I can only allow him to pass me. And about 10, 15 minutes after he passes, I have to, I have to leave. <laughs> but I have to get. I calculated. I need 70 to 73 percent in order to win. Uh, because he needs to charge one more time, about 10, 15 minutes, yeah. He will probably cut it close and charge only 10 minutes, but he also needs to count in about two minutes of stop and start again. There he is! There he is! Oh shit! He's going fast! He's going fast! I think he didn't see me! Whoa! I'm still there! With the corner, 
Shoot. Okay. We have to start the timer now because uh, I need to know exactly when he passes me. Okay, he passed me at 38. So I can wait 10 more minutes. Maybe give it 12 more minutes before I leave. Or just, I can leave. I prefer to leave when I have 70 to 73%. Well, it's been six. Yeah, it's been six minutes since Pavel passed, and I'm at 61 percent. Yeah, I show the live stream now. Uh, you see, we are uh, at 61 percent at 47 kilowatt. Oh, I need 70, at least 70. That is safe. Uh, 73. Ooh, I don't think I have time for 73, but at least 70 should be safe. I'm gonna recalculate again. All right, it's been 12 minutes since he passed. I'm at 67% and I did another calculation and 70 is safe. 67 is barely safe, 68 now. So we're getting 48 kilowatt, which is pretty good. But um, yes, we have to leave now. Otherwise he will win. Okay, a little update. We are 106 kilometers from Elverum Supercharger. Uh, our consumption is pretty nice, 186, uh, and my range is 205 kilometers. So yeah, I have 100 kilometers in uh, in reserve, and we will have to charge at Elverum. We will charge at Elverum until uh, Björn is getting close to us. He just unplugged his uh, his Kona. And uh, yeah, he's chasing behind me, so this is exciting. We have passed Rena, it is 11 in the evening. Uh, I averaged uh, 126 since the last charger and 134 for the whole trip, which is awesome. And if you see here, I have 50% left. So I think I overshot it. Well, actually, I'm not sure if I overshot it because uh, the last stretch will be uh, pretty heavy, pretty intense. Uh, I'm going to consume lots of energy fighting the heavy wind. Uh, I checked Pavel. He has 120 kilometers of range and he's very close to uh, Elverum. So by the time he reaches Elverum, he will have over 100 kilometers, like 110 kilometers of range. And from Elverum to... Uh, to home is only 135 um, so he could charge to about 180 kilometers and make it there uh, but if you want to be safe he should charge to 200 uh, but 200 will take 10 minutes uh, so <laughs> he might not have 10 minutes because I'm right behind him so he knows that if he charges and I pass him then he loses and if he charges and then unplugs and leaves, then he wins. If he has enough juice. So it brings boils down to how long he wants to charge and how much juice he has. Because he knows that I have enough juice and I can make it there. So <laughs> I'm pushing a lot, putting a lot of pressure on, uh, on Powell right now. All right. Um, Powell, he just plugged in at the supercharger and he's getting uh, 35. No, wait, there we go. 67, let's see, 86 kilowatt. Oh, he has 113. Shit, he has 113 kilometers. Oh, man. <coughs> I even put on the more inefficient uh, tires, the, the Michelin tires on Optimus, and he's still, he's still gonna beat me. But he needs to charge, I work out that he needs to charge to at least 160, 180 will work, 200 is probably safe, so it boils down to how far he wants to charge now. Oh man. Oh wow, guys, you know, uh, I'm at Elverum, the last supercharger stop. I'm charging like crazy now, the fans are going. Uh, <laughs> Bjorn will pass me in approximately five minutes and uh, you know this is going to be close um, I hope I have enough range uh, in five minutes so I can uh, drive from here uh, at the same time as Bjorn so yeah this is going to be close we have 
163 kilometers of range, 164. Charging at 92 kilowatts. And uh, the required, yeah, the range, the, uh, we have 131 kilometers to go to the finish line. Yeah. And the people are going nuts on the chat. <laughs> I'm five kilometers away from the supercharger or five kilometers away from uh, Pavel. That's about four minutes and he's already at 165, 166. Uh, he's getting that extra buffer he needs so he can leave in in just a couple of minutes. He can leave. So, shit. Ooh. If he leaves too early, then he has to stop again. So he, he better charge up enough. Uh, what the heck is Powell doing? I'm like 1.5 kilometers away and he's still charging. What is he doing? He could have left now. He has 185. He, he, he is good to go. What? What are you doing, Powell? You should leave now. You should leave now. You have enough juice, man. Okay, I think Bjorn will just drive past me right now. But I need to charge. I need the charge. Otherwise, I will stop in the middle of nowhere again, you know, and who will tell me then? Yeah, I think this was Bjorn. Oh dear. <laughs> He's gonna lose now. He's gonna lose. Okay, uh, I don't know what the heck Pavel is doing, but uh, the supercharger is right over there. And he's still charging for some reason. I don't know if he has uh, a diarrhea or something, but uh, uh, I will not wait for him. Uh, I have no idea why the heck he hasn't left yet. He's almost at 200 kilometers now. He's at 194. He could have left at least five minutes ago. So I'm not sure what's going on. Why he's letting me win. We are finally on the motorway. Uh, this is the high intensive uh, stretch where I'm going to burn lots of energy on high speed, well, high ish speed. Yes, I know Germans be like, ah, oh, that's at high speed. Um, and we have a headwind, so I have 39% left, and I hope that is enough. I don't want to see a turtle when I'm going the last uphill before uh, uh, the, the fast charger. So, uh, I'm not sure how much I dare to burn right now. Oh shit! Powell is like 40 kilometers away. I mean, sorry. Powell is like 40 seconds behind me right now. And the gun drops like crazy. Like, it's 94 kilometers, and then I have 45 kilometers to go. But that means that the gum the has been dropping and dropping and dropping. So if I keep burning energy like this, I will run out of juice. So I don't know what to do. Um, we have some downhill soon, and uh, it, there will be slower, slower speeds. But that will be in about 20 minutes, 20 like 20 kilometers. So I have to keep going because Pavel is right behind me, he's hammering at full speed. He has enough juice to keep full speed, whereas I'm running it very close. Now this time, he's hunting me. <laughs> oh man! Alright, we are back on the 100 km per hour speed limit zone and I can finally slow down and get some rest. Uh, so the GOM says 54 km and we have... We have only 17 left, so this is safe. Yeah, I think it's we are safe now. This is a spot where um, Powell ran out of juice on uh, on the Ampere E, but he was down to like 5%. I still have 13. <laughs> 13, all right. So, uh, but we still have that really scary uphill at Kardihogen. So, uh, I hope the voltage won't drop too much. That would be the scariest part to climb Cardi Hogan with low state of charge. Because with low state of charge, you will also have higher um, heat loss and uh, higher consumption. So this is not optimal to hammer at these speeds. But I trust that uh, the, the Hyundai batteries are good. Yeah, that they can withstand this, this kind of load. So let's see now. 
what are we doing now? 16 kilowatts. Okay, that's good. Okay, this is it. This is the long and painful uphill Kali Hogan. I have 12% left. Uh, let's hope it won't drop too much. Yeah, but you know what? I forgot that 12% on this battery is a lot compared to uh, on uh, Ionic that I drove earlier. So it seems like it's not losing that much. Yeah, yeah. Come on, still 12%. <laughs> we are already halfway up the hill. Oh, yes. Oh, 11%. 11, but that's still safe. After this one, we'll have a nice downhill. Oh, come on. Don't do any crazy stuff now. How much do we have? Gom says 45 kilometers. And we have... We have only 8.5 to go. Oh, that's looking pretty good. All right, this is it. This is the last downhill before the fast charger. We have 10% left. Uh, power is like... 30 seconds behind me. <laughs> oh shit! 40 kilometers left on the gong. That's fine. Yes, we are here. No turtle mode. This is it, the finish line. Okay, so that was 138 watt hour per kilometer, 971 kilometers. Uh, and the Powell is behind somewhere. It's about to enter. Oh, he went that way. Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. Oh, that was so close. Was, maybe he took the wrong turn. No, I think he took the wrong turn. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man, that was so close. Shit. Oh, this is close, man. <laughs> Very close. Like, oh, man. All right, all right, let's, let's go ahead. Yes. <laughs> all right, uh, we have to go on uh, that side yeah. because of the more light. Lights, more lights. We have to yeah. go on this side here, yeah. of course. Yeah. That was <sighs> so close. Like, how yeah. many kilometers do you have left? Oh, 53. 53. So that's yeah. Yeah. that's like 15 percent ish. Yeah. 14. 14. Yeah. I had yeah. 10 percent. Wow. Really close. Wow. I was like okay. super scared. I, yeah. Was it at the gum? Yeah. Yeah. Well I, I, wow. well, I didn't trust gum, which was a good reason because yeah, yeah. I, I had 40 kilometers yeah. when I arrived here. Yeah. And okay. It, it says it said 90 kilometers. What? I mean, it says 90 kilometers of buffer <laughs> in the beginning. I was like, ah, uh -uh, ain't uh -huh. gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I trusted gum, <laughs> I would run out. <laughs> Oof. <sighs> Man. Yeah. So you know what? Um, wow. I think this was a tie. I mean. It was just 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. I mean, if in if, 14 hours, in 14 hours, 30 yeah. seconds. You know. Yeah, yeah. You can say okay. I mean, <laughs> Hyundai can say that. Yes, we won, but it was so close. Yeah, <laughs> close, but no cigar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But that, that was great fun. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was so many followers <laughs> oh. as well. Oh my god. Yeah. And I mean that car. I mean Kona. It's just, what the hell can it be so efficient? It's crazy. It's so efficient. And you know, it was the underdog. It had to charge on the slower charger and still it made it. Uh, so it means that with Kona, you can travel about as fast as a Tesla. Yeah. Wow. So, um, but Amazing. okay. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> So, but you know, it's getting late, so we better plug in and uh, yeah, wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But thank you very much. Thank you so much for this the was fun for the trip. <laughs> <laughs> that was great fun. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, and um, next battle, what should it be? Oh, uh, Jaguar. I, I pay. I pay. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I pay versus <laughs> definitely. Oh, something. I pay versus something. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if IPACE tries to battle Kona, <laughs> Kona will win. But if IPACE battles Tesla, maybe my 75D. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. 22 inch. <laughs> maybe I'll have to swap wheels. Yeah. <laughs>
But we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. All right. <laughs> so I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you. Yeah. I'll talk to you later.